friends welcome to civil engineering exam today we're going to see the type of foundation and their uses so the foundation are classified into two types there is shallow foundation and deep foundation so these type of foundation under shallow or deep foundation for building construction and their uses is discussed in this video so we have to know the what type of foundation going to use in our construction that is most important so different type of foundation used in the construction that is shallow foundation and deep foundation so in shallow foundation there are four types that is individual footing or isolated footings then combined footing third one is strip footing and fourth one is trap raft or mat foundation so in deep foundation uh, they are classified into two types that is pile foundation and drilled shaft or caissons here we discuss about uh, the type of foundation individual type foundations and their uses so first we can take the individual footing or isolated footing so individual footing or isolated footing is the most common type uh, foundation used in the construction because uh, in every construction we are using this uh, type of isolated foundations so uh, it may be a rectangle or it may be a square or it may be a uh, circle one so this foundation constructed for a single column and also called the pad foundation so this uh, shape of foundation is mainly depends upon the column because uh, if the column is a uh, square it will be a uh, square footing or if the column may be a uh, rectangle it may be a uh, rectangle footing well the likewise the column may be a circular uh, the foundation also in a circular shape so rectangular isolated footing is selected when the foundation experiences moment due to the eccentricity of the load or due to horizontal forces for example considering a column with a vertical load of 200 kN and the say bearing capacity is 100 kN per meter square then the area of footing required will be 200 divided by 100 equal to 2 meter square so far the square footing uh, the length and width of the footing will be 1.5 414 meter into 1.414 meter so we can take an as it is 1.414 meter into 1.414 meter or we can take 1 meter into 2 meter so that is a 2 meter square so this is the main difference in the square footing and rectangle footing so next one is combined footings so so the combined footing is constructed when the two or more columns are close enough to their uh, isolated footing or overlap each other. So in that situation we can uh, go for combined footing. So the combined footing is there are two types. The so first one is uh, rectangle combined footing. The another one is uh, trapezoidal combined footing. So whenever the column size are same we can go for a rectangle combined footing. Uh, if the column sizes uh, one column is larger and another column is smaller. So we go for trapezoidal combined footing in order to reduce the uh, concrete uh, area. So next one is the strip footing or wall footing. So strip footings are those who base is wider than the typical load bearing wall foundation. So the wider base of the footing type spreads the weight from the building structure over more area provide the better suitability. If case we provide the foundation for any wall uh, that will be a strip footing so it's a footing laid entire length of the wall so that is called strip footing so next one is raft or mat foundation so that is a type of foundation which are spread across the entire area of the building to support heavy structural loads from the columns and walls so the use of uh, mat foundation is to columns and uh, walls foundations where the load from the structure on the columns and walls very high. So this is used to prevent the differential settlement of individual footing. So that is most important. Then uh, they designed a single mat foundation for uh, carrying the all load uh, load from the columns and walls. So it is suitable for expensive soil whose bearing capacity is very less and uh, uh, this is not suitable for the individual spread footings. So in that uh, situation we go for the mat foundation. So these foundations should not be used where the groundwater table is above the bearing surface of the soil. So the use of foundation in such condition may lead to score or liquefaction. Next main type is D foundation that is pile foundation. So pile foundation is a type of deep foundation so which is used to transfer the heavy load from the structure to the hot strata of the deep depth below the ground surface. So the pile foundation used to transfer the heavy loads of structure through the columns to uh, hot strata which is much below the ground level where the shallow foundation such as front footings and mat foundation cannot be used. So this is also used to prevent the uplift of the structure due to lateral loads such as earthquake and wind forces. Then pile foundation transmit the load in the two uh, type of action one is screen friction and uh, as well as the end bearing. 
so the load will be transmitted in the end of the pile foundation that is called end bearing piles and uh, if case the load will be transported in the friction of uh, sides of the soil that is called uh, friction piles so uh, in most cases uh, the pile foundation will be the uh, both friction and end bearing piles so that is very effective to uh, transfer the load so next one is drilled shaft or caisson foundation drilled shaft also called caissons it is a type of deep foundation and has action similar to the pile foundation but are the high capacity inside and in situ foundations so it resists the load from the structure through the shaft resistance tore resistance and combination of both of this so this construction of drilled shaft caissons are done using the auger first we can drill the earth surface and remove the soils from the pit then we can place the reinforcement cage and uh, put the concreting uh, pour the concreting so that is uh, called the caisson foundation so drilled shaft can transfer the column loads larger than the pile foundation it is used where the depth of hot strata below the ground surface is located within 10 to 100 meters that is uh, 25 meter to 300 feet these drilled shafts or caisson foundations not suitable when the deep deposit of soft clays and loose water bearing granular soil exist it is not suitable for the soil where the calving formation are difficult to stabilize soil made of boulders and artesian aquifer exist so that is the most important thing we have to notice so these are all the type of foundations uh, that is uh, shallow and deep foundations again we will see in next video thank you